Okay, so this is our bottling setup then. We have this 10 gallon tank with a dripless valve installed on it. Uh, we dump five gallon buckets of honey in here through a strainer. You may have seen that already or I might be showing it now. Uh, so yeah. So yeah, we strain the honey into the bottling tank. From there we have a box of jars up here that we've either washed or blown out clean with air somehow. Take the bottle, put it under the spigot, and open it up. When the tank's got 10 gallons in it, it goes about twice as fast as when it's half or three-quarter empty. The back pressure helps a little bit. So it can be a little bit slow of a process as it goes, but it's, all in all, it's fairly straightforward, fairly quick. Once it gets close, we let it drip for a while. <clears throat> Put those last little bits come out, like so. And each bottle gets weighed to make sure that it's correct. So here I'm 0.2 of an ounce shy. So we'll top that one up. Again, one pound, seal it up, and away we'd go to the next one. So yeah, it works for all of our sizes. It's just rinse and repeat for <laughs> three, four hundred pounds of honey this year. Okay, so we're going to show you how we process our comb honey now. It's our first year doing it, so we're kind of flying by the seat of our pants a little, but we were trying our process here a little bit, and it's working out pretty well. So what we have is some cooling racks over top of some little drip trays here for catching the honey that drips out of the cells we cut. We're taking our foundationless frames, laying them on the cooling rack. Then we're taking a nice sharp knife. You can just go ahead and do it now. Taking a nice sharp knife and just going along the top of the frame, cutting it loose. Then we're going to do the bottom of the frame. Then we'll do each side as well. Just cutting those blacks out of the frame. It cracked here. Sometimes it breaks. We kind of make do with what we can here. We'll just move that frame away for now. Put it there. Okay, so now we have a nice piece of comb sitting out. Um, ready to be cut up. So we're doing both comb and chunk honey right now. The comb honey, this will go in little plastic ca cases like this to be sold just like that. And we're also doing chunk honey for the little bits that get cut off or, or extra. It's just the rest of that bottle will get filled in with extracted honey then. Uh, so we're doing both of those. That's really nice for us because we're dealing with medium frames here. So our comb honey containers can't handle about the bottom inch of the frame. So we have lots of little cutoff bits. Plus when we run into things like this, where it cracks, we can trim that off and use the rest as cut honey, or as chunk honey that is. So what we'll do now, I have just a piece of unflavored, sterile dental floss here that I can use to cut the comb. Uh, to begin with, we're gonna cut off this, this mistake here, this breakage. Um, we'll do that now. I just go underneath, he picks it up, and I'm sliding this back to where it needs to be. Break that off and use part of that as chunk honey. The other part will just go and get fed back to the bees. And then what I can do, if I just bring my floss straight up, I can cross it over itself and just pull it through like I'm cutting a, like a bakery pastry or something. Pull that apart, and that'll go in a chunk honey container. And I'm left with a very clean, very easy to do mark there. Now it's easiest for me to start from this side, so now we have that end cleaned up. We're gonna come and do this side. Probably good here. Probably. Yeah, yeah we're, good. we're good. So now we're just looking at the the gaps in the cutting board, or the um, 
drying rack, cooling rack. So I know I need to go three and a half squares for it to be a good sized piece. So go one, two, mm. someone left a knife in my way. What else is cracked in the middle? I think we should probably start splitting it in half and then we're going. Okay, well we'll get, deal with that when we get there. So starting from the end, one, two, three and a half. That's good. Come up around and pull through. There's a chunk honey or a cone honey piece. All right, we'll just keep going. One, two, three and a half. Double check that I'm square. use the floss to push the piece back out of the way a little bit. So these pieces that we're cutting are the right width now, but they're a little bit too long. We're going to come back in a bit and cut those down to length as well. All right, so what we have here is we marked two of the cross wires here, putting the top against one of them, and I have this floss laid across another. And we can line up to three of them at a time here. Hold them tight together, and then I can gently get, hold them together. Gently hold them together, and I can come up across and cut these to length, like so. And again, those little bottom pieces don't go to waste; they'll just get dropped in jars for chunk honey. We'll move these out of the way and rinse and repeat for all the ones here. What we're trying to end up with is really nice comb honey and everything else becomes chunk honey. That's the end goal. We'll just let them drip for a few minutes here. Gets the excess wax or excess honey off the sides. Um, that just makes it package a little nicer in those containers. So leave them drip for a while and then we'll put them in the containers. <laughs>